Hey, beautiful people, thank you so very much for joining me on this other exciting episode of your favorite infotainment show, This Is Hot and GC with me, Miss Ben. Hope you guys had a great week. Sit comfortably and let's get to know all that happens in the entertainment industry this week, guys. Let's go on a quick go when we come back. We're going to dive straight into serious matters. Go nowhere, I'll be right back. Nouvelle histoire d'une femme mariée. Elle a tout pris mon cœur, ma head on papoulet. Elle met dans la jungle, mais on voit tu m'aimes. Mm, mm, yeah. Ça, c'est l'amour, bien à dans des gigolets. Rico, 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 GC don't come out, plenty people they don't pass, plenty people they don't fail, and plenty people they don't die. Unlike last year due to the outbreak of the coronavirus, the GC result this year witnessed an increase in percentage pass on the ordinary level, though with a decrease at the advanced level. The ordinary level had a 1.89 increase, that's from 64.04% as compared to 62.15% last year. While the advanced level had a 9.84% drop, that is from 74.24% last year down to 64.4%. We had mixed reactions as some were celebrating their success, others were crying, and we have this category that were busy taking away their lives. Reports for now confirm four cases of students who committed after failing to make it this year. Now, this calls for concern as it is becoming alarming. And my question to you is, who should be blamed? The student, the school they attended, the GCE board, or the parents, certainly not the GC board because this is what they had to say after the incident. Before you think of it, you have the power to say, this is not how my story will end. When you feel like giving up, just remember the reason why you held on for so long. It does not end the chances of life getting worse. It eliminates the possibility of it ever getting better. It was and is never an option. Ah, oh, the juicy board has spoken. Away from that, guys, let's listen to the names of all the slay queens and slay kings who made it this year. And to one juicy results out. Ha, we are going to hear slay kings and kings. They are going to pass the year. When I hear the name, name. passing four people, five. Manka Ogen 2K. Petra Da Costa iPhone. La Vegas Quinta. Romanus Kasha Bukut. Petra. Betran, Bitcoin and Van Van, wonderful thing. Passing three papers, seven people. Mm -hmm. Wash Tonton Brenda, Momomi Vanessa, Daniela Kwasa Kwasa, Blandine Pip the Drip, Soya Amanda B. Nelson Life Days, wow. Congratulations to you, Slickings and Kings, wow. Dear parents, please. Always make sure you stay close to these children when they fail. Give them the moral support they need in such painful moments. And to you, dear student, don't let the competition between your classmates and you drive you into doing crazy things. We all have different destinies and our stars don't shine at the same time. The fact that your friends made it before you in school does not mean they are more than you in life. Remember, there is more to life than education. And congratulations once more to all those who made it this year. Danny Green finally met his biological father who is no other person but Nigerian superstar, artist and producer Don Jazzy. In one of his posts on social media, Danny Green said Don Jazzy is his biological father. And this is actually how he made it sound. Guys, I just discovered that Don Jazzy is my biological father. This is a huge shock to me. It was revealed to me today by my uncle Musafa Tunde Ednot. Don Jazzy is my father and I've been suffering for almost 30 years. Where do I start now? What a minute, guys. So Danny Green is a Nigerian. Our 237 town crier is actually a 234 town crier. So we have been supporting a Nigerian all this while. 
Wow. Is it really true or uh, is this Danny's way of appreciating Don Jazzy for sharing his comedy skit on his social media handles and following him back on Instagram? I don't know guys. I don't know if Don Jazzy is really Danny Green's biological father or this is just comedy. Anyways, all I know is that Danny Green slept in Cameroon last week and woke up in Nigeria, more precisely in Don's residence. So watch him crack the ribs of Ghanaian rapper Sakodi, whom he met there. <laughs> Mama don't get hunched back because he can't get a hip hop for him. Back, Mama, sorry. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I'm <a> report, baby. <laughs> Danny Green, for the past couple of years, have been putting in so much work in his art, which have earned him so many awards. His style is crying comedy, which is appreciated by some and so much criticized by many. I noticed one thing with Cameroonians. We don't welcome innovations easily. When someone pops up with a different way of doing something others do, we quickly criticize it for no reason. But when it is done by a stranger, we embrace it quickly. Like the saying goes, a prophet is never welcomed in his own town. Danny Green has been so consistent in his art despite the negative energy on his way. He keeps winning and gaining grounds. Whether you like him or not, he keeps moving. He keeps moving. So keep moving, Danny. Keep moving. You can now buy bitcoins and crypto with the CFA and their mobile money with the yellow card. Download the app on App Store and Play Store to start trading. Cameroonian comedian Siwa International, aka O Pancho, aka Nyangadros, on it again. And it is hot, guys. It is really hot. O Pancho addresses the disrespect reigning in the comedy sector. He decries the issue of fans and bloggers always trying to compare the old school legendary comedians to the new school comedians, which is something very bad. Check this out. They go take a full time stand up comedian, they compare them with the picking the way they do comedy skit, right? Them, and who, who will be the best comedian? That is not correct. You go see, they go take today a whole me, O Pancho. Well, I start doing viral comedy skit them back to back. Well, some of these picking them now where they do comedy, so they nobody don't know how you feel move better money. You buy Android telephone comedy back to back when a ministers them they did recommend my comedy. Big celebrities are out of the country, they did repost my comedy. But today, because this picking and they did do well, which we all we really appreciate all the the caro copies. Godis Fongwa, Onda Bele, um, Danny Green, all of them, they, they do so well. But when we come up for this time, when I want to take O Pancho, take Sparkle, take O Boy that can make them, because they compare them with this picking the who phone in pass, it is totally wrong. It's just like how you take Najib Gabriel for Dwala, you put them for the same picture with the thing on Shalala and uh, uh, President Chocho, they compare and say, now who phone in pass? Eh? Or you take Akporo for Nigeria where he did do well now for comedy. You go begin put on the same platform with Agodai or Basket Mouth. That is totally wrong. We have to disrespect greatness. And the reason why for their own country, we need to, we need to respect people where they don't work. People where they don't work endlessly for make and say me this particular industry it did go before. That is totally wrong. Ah, this is so typical of him. Old Pancho is one of the fearless comedians we have in the entertainment industry. He's not afraid to say things the way they are and the way he likes. For the past couple of years, he has addressed so many pertinent issues worrying the entertainment industry. And my question to you is, is it safe to say Old Pancho is the messiah our entertainment industry has been longing for? I'll leave it up to you in the comment section, guys. The list for the 28 players selected to face Malawi and Ivory Coast next month of September has been made public. The two matches will count for the Qatar 2022 World Cup qualifiers. First team players like Fabrice Ondoa, Clinton J, Oyongo Bitolo, and Andre Onana have been left out. The most controversial of it is that of the goalkeeper Fabrice Ondoa, who, according to the Indomitable Lions coach Antonio Concesiao, has been left out because he has no current club. Wow, this is crazy. 
I don't know if this is a wise decision, meaning Fabrice Ondo has not been keeping fit and is not up to task. And we all know how active Fabrice Ondo has been lately. So tell me guys, is this decision wise to you? UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis Ngannou goes savage on social media with his former coach. According to his former coach, Fernand Lopez, Francis is not giving him the credit he deserves for have helped him reach the summit. So the coach wants Francis to recognize or acknowledge the role he played in his success story. Francis Ngannou claps back by saying the coach always wanted to be the celebrity. What a wow! Probably not the finish for this industry. Guys, this is where we put a close stop for the first segment of this program. Don't forget to let me know what you think about every gist here in the comment section. And thank you so very much, guys, for still watching. And if you're here for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is time for us to get it more entertaining with the top 10 hottest songs this week. Come away, I'll be right back. Welcome to our top 10 playlist guys. So making it to our 10th position is this beautiful smashing brand new release from Cameroonian artist AC Prince. The title of the song is Ayebako. Watch and enjoy. Excuse me baby girl, can I talk to you? You look very familiar from my point of view. Do you live in this area on a form of the fool? Cause you resemble my neighbor where they carry food. Wait the minute, you sure you know we let you see the MRD? Eh? Oh, so large egg ben a grand say, uh. You find a daphne jay, but physically sticky, your shape come all in a branch bay. No kiddie, no play. Popping up at the ninth position, we have this beautiful collab song from Motobanga King Kong featuring Emmanuel Da Blink and J. Chris. Title of the song is Show Me Love. Show me love, show me love. No do like say you like me, don't for back, they killing me. Show me love, show me love. No do like say you like me, don't for back. Cameroonian artist Kobo makes it to the eighth position with this song titled GCE Resort. GCE Resort don't come out, me will not gather here. We must know who fell and pass the exam this year. If you want to face the face, therefore not bad result. Bad result. Our number seventh video of the week is coming straight away from Young Nicks featuring Mike Monster. The title of the song is Blow. Popping up at the sixth position, we have this beautiful, smashing brand new release from Cameroonian artist Charlotte Dipanda. The title of the song is No Kaye. Elle est passée l'époque de la cour de récré. Occupying our fifth position is this beautiful collab song from Cameroonian Bikusi Diva Coco Ajante featuring Ivorian artist Venon Le Cascadeur. The title of the song is Laba. Popping up at the fourth position, we have this beautiful, smashing, brand new collab still banging everywhere. It's Fire from Cameroonian artist Mimi featuring Loco. Our number 10 video of the week is this collab song from Tizi Panchak featuring Iris Epiti. The song is titled God's Time. Because I know getting money, you they use me to play. All kind of way, for all kind of way. Because I know getting money, you they use me to play. All kind of way, for all kind of way. Melo tango to Salome. I Salome. All kind of way. Laba by Cameroonian artist Daphne is making it to our second position. Okay guys, topping our top 10 countdown is this beautiful song from Cameroonian artist Mr. Leo featuring Nene and Daphne. The title of the song is Touch My 
but watch and enjoy. I'm offen, I'm offen, I'm offen, ah, I'm offen. Amore mio, chéri, touche pas partout. I'm offen, I'm offen, ah, I'm offen, ah, I'm offen, ah. Amore mio, chéri, touche pas partout. That's all we have for our top 10 countdown this week, guys. Remember, you have the power to get your favorite artists on and off the countdown. All you have to do is propose them to us on the comment section. It is time for us to have the last segment of this program, which is Pick of the Week. I'll be right back. Cameroonian fast rising artist Miracle Pekin offers himself a brand new car worth millions of fans CFA. Can we put our hands together for that, guys? Come on. Wow. He's still coming up and he already offers himself such gift. Is it safe to say the music business in Cameroon is a lucrative one? Because if it is, then all we go just enter studio, they will start the scene. And how will I check out? Okay guys, this is where we draw the curtains for today's exciting episode of your favorite show, Hot and Juicy with me, Miss Bang. Thank you so very much for sticking around. Please make sure you share, make sure you like, and don't forget to let me know what you think about all the gist I gave you in the comment section. And if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification. I'll be right back next week with so much more. And for more information on the entertainment industry, please follow us on our social media handles, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Instagram, we are very much active on our website too. And if you're not on our Telegram channel, you're missing out a lot. Please make sure you join us, it's 237 Showbiz. And follow our new division, 237 Showbiz Studios. I'll be right back next week, guys. Do have a great weekend. <laughs> okay. <laughs>